Taylor, and they look smashing as they go through the Grand Street Parade. They've been connected with the Grand Street Parade as long as we have been a festival. So for 79 years, they've always been a part of our parade. And real troopers, because it is a long parade, uh, as we'll talk about throughout the afternoon, in terms of uh, where they have to uh, march from. And uh, here we see one of the RCMP uh, cruisers. It's interesting that we had 50 to 70 members dressed in red surge, and you're right, it'll be two to three kilometers walking before they actually finish the Grand Street Parade. And we can hear more sounds uh, in the distance as we have uh, the Army, Navy, Air Force Veterans of Canada, the uh, oldest veterans organization in Canada, first established in Montreal in 1840, incorporated as an ACDC or ACDT of Parliament in 1917. So is this the, um, we have a band coming up here, is this the, this is 12 wing and 14 wing pipes and drums. 12 wing would be Shearwater, 14 wing would be Greenwood here in the Annapolis Valley. I'm participating in over 200 events every year. We'll take a listen. As I said, Len, earlier, participating in over 200 events under the direction of Major Bruce and Drum Sergeant Reichman. And there we have uh, Crime Stoppers, Nova Scotia Crime Stoppers with their vehicle and uh, all the few people behind bars this afternoon. Oh, it looks like they have a uh, Crime Stopper telephone. Bad <laughs> to be driving, holding a cell phone. We know that. Never do that, do we, Len? Absolutely not. And here we have Astar. Play safe, Astar. And the War this, Amps. These local champs are all part of the War Amps Child Amputee Program and are part of the 500 Strong National Safety Ambassador Team. This year they are celebrating 65 years of War Amps key tags. That's quite, an, 65 years is quite. A, quite a long time and uh, great to longevity. have. Longevity. Uh, absolutely. Accomplishment is the word I was looking for. Quite an accomplishment, 65 years those key tags have been around. We hope you're enjoying coverage of the 79th Annapolis Valley Apple Blossom Festival Grand Street Parade here on Eastlink TV as uh, we have more pipes and drums coming through the Annapolis Valley Festival Grand Street Parade. It always sounds so good, doesn't it? The Absolutely. bagpipes and drums. And a nice round of applause from those that have uh, gathered here. Thousands uh, lined up between the village of Neminus and the downtown area of Kentville to enjoy the Apple Blossom Festival Grand Street Parade. And we hope you're enjoying the sights and sounds of it this afternoon. Let's say it's a perfect day for a parade. The weather is perfect. It's just cool. It's not too hot, and it's not going to rain on our parade. Absolutely. And so, do we? Ha what do we have coming up here now? One of the many tractors that uh, you'll see uh, pulling a float this in the Annapolis like Valley. Frito Lay. Frito Lay, part of the Apple Blossom Festival Grand Street Parade. And Frito Lay is a big sponsor of the Children's Parade, and they've been doing the Children's Parade for 20 years now, Len. That's quite a, a milestone to have 20 years with Frito Lay. And you're right, in this day and age with corporate sponsorship, things change, and to have uh, a corporate sponsor that's been an integral part of it for 20 years uh, really says uh, the value they place on such a great event. And they're a wonderful team that work with us through Frito Lay, and we enjoy working with them every year. I haven't been around for 20 years, but. I've been. I've been known to uh, enjoy a few of their uh, products. <laughs> yes, and I think we have upcoming next is the uh, Princess for the Town of Berwick. And uh, she would have been part of the Apple Blossom Festival Coronation Program. And it is uh, Keisha Timmons. Keisha is the 20-year-old uh, daughter of Judy Timmons and the late Reg Timmons. She uh, has completed a course in tourism management at NSCC in Kentville. She'll be uh, graduating in June. We wish Keisha all the very best. Poised young lady who really enjoyed her time uh, as part of the Apple Blossom Festival. 
coronation and all the things that go along with it leading up to Apple Blossom Weekend. So, and Berg, was she not first runner-up to Queen Annapolisa? She was chosen. Yes. And so, uh, Keisha, we congratulate you. And there she is on that uh, beautiful float with her uh, child attendant this afternoon with her parasol and hopefully she won't really need to use it, but she's being safe. It's just a little shade. That's all she's going to use it for today. You can see the child attendants get into this. They love looking at the crowds, waving to the crowds, and the crowd really likes to see the, the, these community events, these community floats. And who is that? Well, we're getting into some Star Wars here with this uh, character. Darth Vader, is it? <laughs> It's interesting to note the theme for the 79th festival is our blossoms, our families. And that's what we're seeing today, our blossoms and our families. And now we have the 562 Cabot Air Cadet Marching Band all the way from North Sydney. Let's listen in. And the 2444 Royal Canadian Army Cadets, an Army Cadet uh, unit for uh, ages 12 to 18. And they specialize in marksmanship, uh, biathlon, drill, and field training. And we hope you're enjoying the 79th Annapolis Valley Apple Blossom Festival Grand Street Parade on Eastlink TV. Apple Blossom Festival Grand Street Parade. My name is Len Hawley from ABR, today's best country. Glad to be partnering with Eastlink Television or TV for coverage of the Grand Street Parade. And Sally Wallace is with me, a past president of the festival. Thousands gathered here. Thousands. We say somewhere between 60 to 80,000 people here today, Len. It's a perfect day for a parade. And we're looking at going further in the parade as we see the kids get excited to see what's coming up next. Absolutely, and everybody gathered along the street side. And again, we mentioned a few minutes ago, it is a long parade route from the village of Naminus all the way to the ballparks of uh, downtown Kentville. As you said, uh, probably a two, three kilometer uh, hike. And now we go back to the parade and Canada Post, part of the Grand Street Parade at the Apple Blossom promoting. Festival. Our Blossoms, Our Families. As I said, that's the theme for the 78th. These walkers include employees and their families. Canada Post also promotes Family Day for the parade. They love to participate every year. We love to see them. They're, they may do a bit of mail this year. You could get your letter delivered or mailed today, Len. Now, there's a mailbox I like. You can walk to me, and I don't <laughs> have to walk to it. <laughs> the lazy oh, they're, but, and they're giving out something, yes. Uh, the youngsters always look for uh, something special along the parade route and Canada Post uh, providing uh, some goodies here. A high five there from their mascot. <laughs> An overcast day, but the rain has held off for the 79th Annapolis Valley Apple Blossom Festival Grand Street Parade. And I know the Halifax Sparklets would are be happy, happy to know. For that, <laughs> yes. And here they are coming, doing a lot of their twirling. I'm not sure if you can do if you can do any of that twirling or not, Len. Always a lot of fun to watch. The They're very entertaining. The crowd loves to see them. And they are much more athletic than I can be. Good catch. She's doing an excellent job. And it's always neat to see the various ages. Now, obviously, these are a little bit older, but uh, 